Hi guys, this is a little bit very spontaneous. I wasn't planning in visiting my nephew today here in the cemetery, but um, how our relationship really works, honestly, is that when I feel that he's calling for me and when I feel that I want to chat with him that's when it organically happens and it is a very weird sensation but today i just felt that i needed to stop by and say hi to him so i haven't seen him in a while because i've been extremely busy and i just wanted to stop by and just talk to him for a bit and I don't know I'm still very every time that I come to the cemetery doesn't matter if it's a year from now or whatever you know I still get very emotional when you lose someone that you really really love the pain never goes away Anyway, guys, so let me focus on the road and we'll chat in a bit. Hi, John. My little baby, I miss you so much. Oh, nephew, I know you are watching over me and I know that you are one of my guardian angels <laughs> and I miss you so so much every single day. <sighs> every time that I come and visit you, it's still very sad. I know that you've gone a couple of years ago, but this pain will never go away. I got you some goodies. Your favorite Hershey bar. And you would expect for things to get easier as the years go by. But it doesn't. You're always going to have that pain in your heart remembering your loved one. And... This is the reason why you need to cherish every moment when they're alive because you never know when they're going to take that last breath. You always have to love the people around you that love you, that respect you, that are there for you. This is not easy. And every time I come to the cemetery, I always feel some type of way. But, unfortunately it's life. We're born and we die. But while we are in this earth, we need to make things happen. We need to be happy. We need to go on with life. We need to make the best out of it. And I thank God every single day for all the blessings that he has given me. For my family, they might not be perfect, but they're always there. We might crumble, but we always find the pieces. My friends in my life, we might fight, but I know that I can count on them. We might get mad at each other, but I know that when I need them, they will be there without asking any questions. Everyone in the universe, thank you. 
for <laughs> all the blessings. I I know that sometimes life is hard and I'm not going to say that my life is perfect because by all means it isn't but you have to roll with the punches. You have to be strong and you always have to ask yourself it's it's something that I cannot fix because unfortunately when you die and a loved one dies you cannot replace them anymore so Johnny my little baby I miss you so much I wish you were here You know, this little boy, I raised him when he was a baby. And he reminded me of me. Very spontaneous. Full of life. Very, very stubborn. We know you were stubborn, Johnny. <sighs> but I would give anything. Just to give you one last hug. Why do I always feel so broken every time that I come and visit my little nephew? It just... I know he's gone, but in spirit, he's always here with me. And... I would do anything for one last hug. Whew. Okay, I'm not going to cry. I got to go, guys. Um, I need to play good music and uh, do a little shopping and, I don't know, cemeteries always put me in the mood. And... Hi guys, I just got in and I actually stopped by the Goodwill on my way home and I didn't film it because I wasn't planning to block that and let me tell you guys, I found some amazing items that I'm going to show you guys in a bit but right now I'm making dinner and I just wanted to show you guys really quick what I'm making. Oh my god, it smells amazing. So I am making myself some vegan orange chicken well i don't eat meat so basically this is my version of um chinese food and then this is chicken i'm making this for my little brother and my mom and making some yummy rice so this is the uh, trader joe's vegetable fried rice that i'm using and i'm also uh, making those vegetable egg rolls, P.F. Chang's, and I didn't get this at Trader Joe's, I think I got this at Jewel's, and I'm going to show you my chicken less, sorry, focus, got to show you guys my chicken less, um, mandarin orange chicken from Trader Joe's. Alright guys, so dinner is done, look how crispy and yummy my vegetable egg rolls look those are from pf chinks and i just put those in the air fryer and we were all good with that and this is my orange chicken from trader joe's and then this one is my vegan chicken from trader joe's for me and this is my fried rice from trader joe's and I was about to forget about this amazing product, guys. This is from Panda Express. And then this is an orange sauce. I got this at Walmart for like $2. And it is perfect when you're making orange chicken because it gives it that Panda Express feel and that Panda Express taste. Super high-end taste. And oh my God, guys, it is so cool that you can make it at home. What's up, guys? So this is your typical Italian supermarket. They also sell food. Oh my God, I'm starving, guys. And then what's so cool, this is like literally 10 minutes away from home, which is nice. All the cheeses, all the meats, everything. Ooh. A 
Actually, this looks so good. The chicken limon. And then all the foods are ready, good to go. All the sauces on top. Oh, that looks so good. Now I have to go find an ATM machine because, of course, they're old school and they don't take debit cards, which is okay. I should always have some cash on me, which I never do. So we're walking probably about a block, hopefully not more, to find an ATM machine to get some cash. And the guys down there were so nice and so cool. They were like, just eat, come pay me right now. Super old school. You don't see stuff like that anymore. But I was like, you know what? Let me just go find an ATM machine, get this over with, and enjoy my yummy pizza. It is beautiful out here. Nice weather. Cannot complain. Life is good. All right, so we got our money. This is a very old school. Used to be Italian neighborhood back in the day. A lot of the businesses and buildings are still very like 50s, 60s, which is very appreciative. See, mom and pop mechanic shop. Anyway, heading back to Freddy's to enjoy my pizza. All right guys, so we are back. This is my margarita pizza. It is so worth it. And then this has cheese in there and spinach and rice. And I got this meal for my mom. You guys cannot really appreciate it that much, but it's kind of like uh, chicken breast, obviously the Italian way, here with Darwin, and it is about to rain in Chicago, guys. And this is how it looks inside. And of course our RC, it is a Chicago tradition. And we kind of moved indoors, kind of still outdoors, but since it's raining, this helps a lot. I think the easiest way to eat this pizza is with your hands. It is so good. Guys, let me tell you, the food was so good. I just love some pretty good old school customer service where they trust you and they're like just eat come pay me when you have the money i'm like no i'm like i feel so bad i'm like i have to go to an atm he was just like eat go to the atm come back and pay me i don't know guys like this whole world is just so crazy that a lot of people don't even do that nowadays you know they'll just probably put the food on the side and just be like screw you give me the money so to me, that is like old school customer service. I will tell everyone to come and check out Freddy's. If you guys are in Chicago or if you guys live in Chicago, make sure you guys check them out because their food is so fresh. Their pizza, oh my God, guys, amazing. They have um, ham, they have cheese, they have meat selections, they have basically everything that you will see in a small mom and pop italian establishment and once you go in there it makes you feel like you're in italy which is really really cool and i've been here many times before because it's literally about 10 minutes away from home but um today kind of like reminded me i'm like hey listen let's just go check out freddy's and let me tell you guys so good totally recommend it Anyway, so we're gonna head home really quick to drop off um, my brother. Well, I, I'm not sure if he's gonna come with me, but I gotta stop by at my mom's really quick to drop off the food. I did get her, I don't know, let, let me see if we can show the viewers. 
Oh boy. I don't want to make a mess. I don't know. Okay, so damn it. I wish I can show you guys. But it looks so 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 good, guys. And alright, so look. So this is it. Doesn't it look amazing, guys? And that is for mom, so I'm gonna go drop that off for her. And then we're gonna continue our day, possibly doing a little shopping, little errands and stuff. Um, maybe stopping by the supermarket because I need to buy something for tomorrow. And just calling it a day. So let me drive, let me go home, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so I just got in right now and I'm gonna edit this video and clean a little because I have to guys. My house is so messy right now. I am reorganizing my living room so it is a hot mess. So I'm gonna show you guys the outcome once it's completely done. But um, I just wanted to say bye. And also if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys subscribe. I upload videos every week. And to all my amazing friends out there, I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. All right, bye. Your love, your love.